Mike Parallax here to talk to you. I don't know what's going to be happening uh, with uh, this censorship uh, from uh, the ones who think they uh, rule over the world. But uh, <clears throat> just finished a 12 hour work shift listening to the Carpenters play Beatles songs. Ticket to Ride? Help? <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I was thinking about. <clears throat> Something that uh, I think is uh, one of the huge problems with humanity. I think a lot of people, sadly, suffer from what I can only call self-persecution. This is just my personal outlook of the world around me. You know, all my, you know, what I've seen, life experience, all that. But yeah, all these, a lot of people suffer from self-persecution. They look at the world and says, they say, oh, well, the world says I have to be like this, and, and, and I, or I have to do this, or I got to be like that, or I got to do this, I got to do that. And I can't do any of those things. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I've avoided this. I credit the grace of God. Even in those six years of child abuse that I'm always referencing on my channel, um, even during that time, uh, there was always that voice in my head that told me, Mike, this is only temporary. And this is not going to be forever. One day you will be an adult. And uh, you know, I would have thoughts like that when I was a child. Uh, I would get mis mixed messages about love for my family. And I'm not judging them because uh, they, didn't, they, were, they were trying to figure it out too. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't know themselves. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, uh, apparently big, techs is re big Tech is really uh, cracking down on censorship now. I don't know uh, if or when, if my channel is ever going to be taken down because I talk about controversial things. I'll just have to start over on another platform somewhere. So I, you know, I record all my stuff to SD cards, so that won't be too difficult for me to do. Because when, when, when your voice falls on deaf ears of, your, of the leadership, the only thing left to do is vote with your money. That's why I'm promoting uh, Boycott Walmart, if you can. If you're one of the lucky ones like me, I'm lucky in that I still have a job, despite all this BS for the, the all of the year of 2020. Uh, but if you're like me, you're one of the lucky ones, you have a job, please consider boycotting Wal Walmart. Um, until the CEO of Walmart goes on national TV and says, okay, we give up. We're going to give uh, small businesses a chance to catch up. We're going to we're not going to buy our products from China. We're not going to we're not going to uh, s s uh, be servitude to this to the CCP. We're done with China. So until that happens, I, I uh, I'm going to do everything. I, I've I've already figuring out uh, uh, what I can do to because I was uh, dependent on Walmart for so many things, uh, pharmacy everything. But but I'm but I'm done. I I just cannot in good conscience give another penny of my money to Walmart. Another thing I was thinking about today, addressing uh, those who foolishly think comp seek compassion and empathy from go governmental institutions. No, they, uh, they, uh, ideally they're, they're, they're only supposed to deal in facts and act accordingly to we the people's will. Somebody on social media, so I think it was one of those after school, uh, videos, they, they, where they, they, uh, do a character of the, the dialogue, and they've done a lot of George Carlin, that's probably how I discovered them, but anyways, and I commented on one of them. Or, 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 and somebody uh, was saying, saying about the Constitution lacks empathy. <laughs> the Constitution, a, a governmental constitu a system of government. <laughs> empathy and compassion comes from human beings, not government institutions. Government institutions do that. Govern for the welfare of all people. Ideally, to let them govern themselves. Unlike what has become because of the Democratic Party, primarily, I think. Yeah, a lot of interesting things going on there. <laughs> you know, it's 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 kind of sad. All the work, all the effort that that was uh, d done, and all it took was uh, some di Duck Dynasty fanatics and uh, 
some guy wearing Chewbacca's bikini <laughs> or underwear or something to destroy it all. <laughs> you gotta laugh. If you don't laugh, you'll go insane. As a, as a survivor of child abuse, I, I, I can test, testify to that personally. I, ironically, the guy, there's a meme out there, <laughs> that guy with that costume, he looked like some character, some protester character from The Simpsons. <laughs> then uh, when Trump uh, gave the speech uh, about, uh, you know, uh, go home and, you know, we got to have peace, that, of course, big tech censored. Because they didn't want the you know, the, you know, the the the, the uh, people to see uh, see that they did see it eventually, but and he you know he was saying about appease and stand back, and uh, there was a joke out there where Nancy Pelosi said, "You heard the president? He he, he said go pee around back of the Capitol." <laughs> you know we the people own the Capitol, so they cannot get them on trespassing. Uh, upsiding a riot, uh, um, in, uh, indecent behavior, that kind of stuff, yes. But they cannot get them for trespass because technically that building owns to us, the taxpayers. That's a little fact I thought I'd throw out. And I got my own joke in regards to that uh, character in that costume. <laughs> hey, I understand you're looking for recruits to storm the Capitol. Well, we need all the help we can get, comrade. You interested? Well... What if I told you I know a kid who will not only storm with us, but once inside, he will sport one hell of a Halloween costume. Go talk to him. He's right over there. Hey, son, your Uncle Donald wants you. <laughs> you got to keep the laughs coming. Even in, term, even in all this hell, you got to keep the laughs coming. Check out the movie Jacob the Liar, <laughs> starring Robin Williams for more on my opinion on that. All right, I got another 12-hour shift tomorrow, so Mike Parallax, thank you for your time.